My name is Mike O'Neill. I'm the director of rowing for Stonington Crew. I'm the vice chair of the Mystic River Park Implementation Committee with Rob Simmons, the first selectman. Stonington Crew's 20th anniversary. We each year have grown since the beginning. We started with about 30 kids. Our first season, um, we're now up to uh, 60 to 90 kids each season. Um, we are the largest sport at Stonington High School with about 15% of the student population rowing. Um, we are a paid to play sport, unlike the traditional sports at the high school where the, uh, the town pays for most of the cost of sport. We have a program fee, so our, our rowers have to pay to participate. They pay about 50% of the cost of the program. We fundraise each year for about 90% of the cost of the, of the program. The town pitches in 10% of the cost of the program. They pay for a coach's stipend and for a busing each year. Um, we are a member of the Connecticut Public School Rowing Association. There are 14 other public schools in our league that we compete against. We're one of the smallest schools in our league. Um, but even being one of the small schools, we've done quite well. We've been very successful. We have won six titles over the years. We've won state championship two years ago. Um, we've made a national bid and, and, and took a second place at a national level regatta. So for a small school, we have done extremely well in our, in our league. So rowing in the past been seen as a very elitist sport. It's typically a sport at the, the Ivy League and prep school level. And, and years ago when I rowed, there weren't that many opportunities. You had to go to a prep school to, to be involved in a rowing program. And, and what's happened over the past 30 years is, is the, the sport has transitioned to the public school level. And it's done so mainly in the Northeast, but we're starting to see rowing programs all over the country. You see rowing programs in Toledo, Ohio. You see rowing programs in Washington State. You see rowing programs in all the, the Midwestern states. And, and that's because it's a very safe sport. It's a sport that uh, teaches teamwork, teaches tremendous life skills, teaches um, uh, physical stamina, a, a lot of things that are, are that you can't learn at school. You can't, you know, there's no class in school that'll teach you what rowing with eight other people on a shell will do. And, and because of that, you're seeing more and more people get involved. Rowing's growing at about 10% a year. 50% um, of that is at youth level. And, and that's largely because um, with rowing, there's about as many rowing programs at the high school level as there are at the college level. And, and because of that, if you want to compete at a college level in a D1, D2 program, um, there's a great opportunity for you to do that through crew. Um, if you're a good rower at high school level, very likely there's gonna be a seat for you at a college level. NCAA did a study a couple of years ago and their statistics say that one in two women who row have an opportunity for a scholarship in college, one in six men. If you look at the more traditional sports like football, baseball, field hockey, soccer, those numbers are in the two or 3%. So there's a significantly better opportunity to get a scholarship at the college level with crew than there are with the other traditional sports. 20 years ago, we needed a place to row. We had 30 kids. We managed to buy some used boats. Um, the boats are 65 feet long. You, you need a, a, a proper facility to row out of. And we were very fortunate because the Mystic Seaport opened their doors and welcomed us in. And then they did it in a way where we pay no fee to the Mystic Seaport. They did it kind of out of uh, community support. Um, and it, it's worked very well for us. For the past 20 years, we've We've been able to bring kids in there every day at 2.30 after school and run our programs. Um, but over the years, we've grown. And we now, rather than those 30 kids, are bringing 90 kids in. And rather just in the spring, we're bringing them in in the spring and in the fall. And, and we have pretty much outgrown their facilities. Um, they've been extremely good to us. We wouldn't have a program if it wasn't for the, the Mystic Seaport. But we're at a point now where our facilities don't meet our needs. Um, we can't grow anymore. We are consistently asked if we can set up programs in the summertime, which we can't do, if we can provide opportunities for people other than the high school kids, which we can't do. Um, and, and therefore, we started to work with the town several years ago towards trying to figure out a way if there was a piece of property in town 
that the town could secure where we could build a boathouse. And we were very fortunate to um, work with the town and buy a piece of property adjacent to the seaport, which puts us on a body of water that is, is very unique. The, the Mystic River is, is one of the nicest bodies of rowing water in the Northeast. It's very well protected. There's low boat traffic. It doesn't freeze in the winter. It's tidal, it's not a river that floods. Um, and it gives us a uh, 6,000 meters of rollable water that's protected, which is very hard to come by. Um, so it's, a, it's the right place to run a rowing program. It's been a great venue for us for 20 years. And um, having access to a, a larger facility allows us to open the program up to a lot of the people over the years that have wanted to row with us and, and haven't been able to. It allows us to bring in uh, middle school kids, it allows us to bring in adults, it allows us to bring in master's rowers, after work programs, adaptive rowers, a lot of people who are very interested in getting involved in crew, but there's no facilities for them to do that right now. One of the things about crew is it's a very physical sport and like many sports, what we do on the water is part of it, maybe 50% of it. The other 50% is training. And training is vital to rowing. One of the challenges with crew is it's a spring sport. And many times, weather doesn't cooperate. We don't get an opportunity to really get on the water until almost to the point where we're into our racing season. So training for us is, is critical. Um, conditioning is very important. Um, if the kids are well conditioned, they don't get hurt. They're, they perform better at a race level. Um, and many of the crew teams see that conditioning is 50% of the sport. Um, over the years, one of the hardest things for us to find other than access to water has been a place for our team to train. And early on when the, the program first started, we trained at the high school, but the, the high school has no space. There's, um, there wasn't a crew team when the high school was built. Um, they didn't make any facilities for additional sports at the high school. So there's only enough room really for the traditional sports at the high school. So uh, each year we've had to try and find a place for us to train and, and over the years we've moved five or six times and, and we've been fortunate. Local community businesses have opened their doors and allowed us to use their facilities. Um, in some cases we've had to rent facilities but, but, but finding a place for 90 kids to work out every day is almost as challenging for us as finding a dock to row out of and, and it's very important moving forward for the rowing program to have both storage for our equipment and a training facility. The Friends of Stonington Crew have 50 volunteers working on this project right now. Um, we've been actively fundraising now. We're very excited about the, the prospects that we have uh, developed, the people that have, have come to the table to help us. Um, and we're very excited to talk to more people, local businesses, um, other people that, are, that are, are looking to create opportunities for kids in this town, create opportunities for people to uh, gain access to something that doesn't exist right now. The, the, the Mystic River is a, a beautiful body of water. Many of us go to the gym every day to work out. As we get older, fitness is very important. We need to uh, get cardio and, and uh, I for one, uh, I'll go to a fitness center, it's, it's okay, it's nothing really exciting about it, you're working on a machine, I'd much rather be out on a boat on the water getting my exercise. And I think many other people would share that if they were given the opportunity to get out on the water. They would see what we've seen, what the kids have seen at the high school over the years, that this is a very unique way to experience the Mystic River, which is a, a, a unique body of water and a, a great complement to the town of, of Stonington and to get fitness and to stay in shape and, and have an opportunity for camaraderie. Um, the nice thing about rowing and, and eights and fours and pairs is that you're not there by yourself. You can bring your friends along. So um, one of the things that we're really trying to do is, is create an opportunity for people in this town to, to experience something that they don't have access to right now. And, and we think that if they were given that opportunity, they would see what we've seen for the last 20 years, that this is a great sport and it's something that many, many people will get involved in once the opportunity is presented.